What's up guys, I'm Paul the Tech Giant and tonight we're going to be checking out these two table lamps from Govi. Now as you can see we've got a couple of different designs here. So on the right we have the Govi Aura table lamp. This is RGBIC and that means that this lamp can display multiple colours as we can see on the box there at the same time. Works with the Govi Home app light show feature, works with Alexa, works with Google Assistant, and that uh, says about the Govi Home app again. Moving on to the other one now then, and this is the Govi Aura light table lamp, and this is RGBWW, so this one can only display one color at a time. Works with the uh, Govi Home app once again, music mode, and uh, works with Alexa, works with Hey Google. Move around to the side of each lamp then, and starting off with the larger one, it says smart voice control, light show feature, dimmable, sleep aid wake up, music sync, and finger sketch. Moving on to the light version now, and it says colorful lighting, smart voice control, multiple scene modes, and set timers. Let's get them both open now then, and let's start with the bigger one first. So on the top of this, we have a user manual there. Then we have a box which contains, looks like uh, one of the power cables just there, power supply, Then it's like we have the lamp itself. There we go, lamp itself. So we've got the input there for the power. Rubberized base on that, so it's going to uh, stick to a surface and not slide about. Govi logo and uh, a few buttons on the top, which we'll get to in just a minute. Moving on to the light version now, then. Top of this one, we have user manual. Power supply. Then we have the lamp itself. So Govi logo on the front once again. Rubberized there. Power supply plugs in just there. And once again some buttons on the top. Now I've just measured the length of the power cables for both and the light version comes in at a very generous 1.7 meters, but its bigger brother comes in at a whopping 2.5 meters, which is crazy. I wish some of the TVs that I unbox come with cables that long. And uh, something worth pointing out, that on the larger version, just on the power cable, there is a microphone but on the light version, the microphone isn't on the cable. It's actually built into the lamp itself. And uh, that is used for when using the music mode. Right, so I've got them both hooked up to the mains now then. And uh, let's turn them on for the first time. So the light version is just a touch sensitive button. But on the larger one, it is a physical button that we've got to press. And there we go. Now you'll probably notice that this one, the light one, the buttons do illuminate, but on the big one, they do not. So let's just take a closer look at the buttons on the light version. So we do have a plus and a minus. So this is for your brightness levels, as you can probably see just like that. And then you've got this one here, and this will change your colors. So if I just keep my finger on that, as you can see. And then we have the button there for our music mode. Moving on to the big one now then. And uh, it's the same basically set up, but physical buttons this time. Like I said, so uh, we've got the plus there for the brightness, minus for the brightness, color change, and then the music mode. 
Again, just using the physical buttons, if you just want to change through your tones of white, then one single press on each button will go through to a different color temperature. So we've got a nice bright white there, more bluer white, and then a warm white. So I've just knocked the lights off now then, and what we're gonna do is take a look at the app. And we're gonna start off with the light version first. So from here, we can control the brightness. As you can see, it does get very bright indeed, to be fair which is what you want from a lamp. So we've got a timer there, effects lab. Then we've got different modes. So music mode, which we'll check out in a minute. Color, so you can select any color you want. So we've got a color wheel just here. So we could click on something like that. Look at that nice vibrant pink. That does look very nice indeed. If I do say so myself. And uh, then we have our scenes. So, uh, few categories here we've got natural life festival emotion so uh let's just click on see deep sea there so we'll just knock that other one off for a second so that's just rotating through various shades of blue then we've got desert and we go to uh festival so we've got mother's day there and again, that's just changing through some different tones. I don't know how well that is coming across on camera. Night light, it's a nice bedtime when you're trying to drift off to sleep. And morning. Now, of course, you can set these lamps as well to wake you up in the morning like a natural daylight as well. So it'll just ease into that brightness and gradually wake you up. Moving on to the big one now then, and once again, taking a look at the app. So again, similar setup. So we've got color, scene, music mode. Again, we've got the color wheel just there. So again, if I pick different colors there, all look very nice. But where this one really comes into its own is the scenes. Now, unlike the other one, cool, that is bright, that is blimey. This one can do multiple colors. So let's go to um, Kaleidoscope. Look at that. Wow, that looks really impressive. I'm sure you'll agree. Looks like a tie-dye shirt, that does. And uh, what else have we got? Graffiti. Yeah, very nice. Rubik's Cube. Oh, I do like these. That Fair play, that does look smart, doesn't it? Uh, then we've got Train. Goldfish. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty mental. Oh, fair play, whoever comes up with these, give them a raise. I'll tell you what, pretty inventive. Fair play. Right, Rings. And... Uh, in person, trust me, it is really, really bright. I've had to dull it down because of uh, the camera is just going to white out and you wouldn't see the colour differences. Uh, emotion, so we've got dancing. Cheerful. And we've got gradient. Healing. Just absolutely tons of them. A couple more that do stand out to me here. We've got Snowflake. Look at that. It's almost like a projector than a lamp. And we've got Rainbow. And Aura. And finally, we we'll finish off with Feathers. Now we're going to test out the music modes on both. So I'm going to simply press the music mode button and turn up the volume and let them do their thing. Now, as we can see, the light version is uh, just doing solid colors but we have got a mixture on the bigger brother next to it. And one advantage with the big one 
is if I just quickly show you guys, we do have different modes there. So that's vibrate. And then we've got rhythm. Spectrum. And again, I don't think my camera is really doing this justice. Let me just turn that down a little bit on the camera there. So both do look very nice indeed, but if it was me, I'd rather go for the uh, bigger one there than the light version, just because you've got more options available to you. And, uh, but both look very nice indeed. Now, if you could do me a massive favor, and if you do like what you see in this video and you're thinking about buying either, then could you please go via my Amazon affiliate link for either of these? That means I will get a small percentage of that sale from Amazon, but no additional cost to you whatsoever. So I will leave links in the description for both of these. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video today. And if you have, do me a big favor, just spare me one second of your time to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please consider doing so. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.